The Russian President Vladimir Putin and Armenian Prime Minister Nikol Pashinyan on Wednesday will discuss the actions aimed at resolving the issues in Nagorno-Karabakh. The Kremlin's press service reports that Putin and Pashinyan plan to discuss the course of implementation of the statements made on November 9, 2020 and on January 11, 2021 by the leaders of Russia, Armenia and Azerbaijan and regarding the Nagorno-Karabakh issue. The two leaders will touch upon the future actions for solutions to issues in the region, particularly in the context of the restoration of economic and transport links in the South Caucasus. The search for the bodies of servicemen who are considered dead or missing continued Monday in Arta, Nagorno-Karabakh, this time in the Juragan, Jabrail region. The total number of dead bodies found or transferred to the Armenian side ever since the ceasefire last November is now 1,529. Armenia is getting ready to hold snap parliamentary elections on June the 20th. Earlier, the parliament passed a separate amendment to the electoral code on the electoral system, and therefore a transition has been made to a simple proportional representation system with closed electoral lists. The other provisions have not been discussed in the National Assembly yet. Head of the Majority My Step faction, Lilith Makuns, in turn, said what provisions of the Armenian Electoral Code will be applied during the forthcoming SNAP elections. Makuns noted that when they have the official conclusion of the Venice Commission on the draft amendments to the Electoral Code, they will then discuss which Electoral Code provisions will be adopted for the upcoming SNAP parliamentary elections slated for June the 20th and which provisions will be put off for the ensuing elections. The Administrative Court of Armenia has denied a motion by the representative of Prime Minister Nikol Pashinyan to dismiss the lawsuit by the former Chief of the General Staff of the Armed Forces, Onik Kasparyan. Kasparyan had petitioned to the Administrative Court on March 10th with a request to recognize null and void the presidential decree on dismissing him from the aforesaid post and which was approved by the PM's March 10th statement to consider Kasparyan dismissed by virtue of law from this position. Pashinyan has submitted a decree on firing Gasparyan as the latter demanded the Prime Minister's resignation amid the political crisis in Armenia. The Homeland Salvation Movement, which demands the resignation of Prime Minister Nikol Pashinyan, issued a statement announcing that it was disassembling its tent camp on Derenik Demirjian Street at the side entrance to the Armenian Parliament building and starting visits to the provinces. The first such visit will take place on Tuesday to Sevan Town. The son of Elena Pinzoyan, the Armenian founder of a Russian studio, fell from the window of an apartment on the third floor and died. The incident took place in the Moscow region. Kirill Pinzoyan, 14, was at home with his grandmother who was in the bathroom when the incident occurred. The boy could have reportedly fallen while trying to take an impressive selfie. As of Monday morning, 479 new cases of the coronavirus were confirmed in Armenia and the total number of these cases has now reached 197,113 in the country. Also, 22 more deaths from COVID-19 were recorded, making the respective total 3,614 cases. The number of people who have recovered over the past one day is 880, and the total respective number so far is 176,889. Top Turkish officials on Sunday lashed out at an open letter signed by more than 100 retired admirals warning about a possible threat to a treaty governing the use of Turkey's key waterways. Turkey's approval last month of plans to develop a shipping canal in Istanbul comparable to the Panama or Suez canals has opened up a debate about the 1936 Montreal Convention. In their letter, the 103 retired admirals said it was worrying to open the Montreal Treaty up to debate, calling an agreement that best protects Turkish interests. The letter drew a strong repose from top government officials, while prosecutors in Ankara have also launched an investigation. Turkish authorities have already detained 10 retired admirals for this letter. The 27th SAG Awards took place on Sunday online. Aaron Sorkin's The Trial of the Chicago 7 won the Best Ensemble cast. Chavik Bozeman, who died of cancer in August last year, posthumously won Best Male Actor for his performance as a blues musician in the 1920s drama Ma Rainey's Black Bottom. Schitt's Creek picked up the Best Comedy Series as well as the Best Female Comedy Actor for Catherine O'Hara. 
The Crown was awarded Best Overall Drama Title and Gillian Anderson won Best Female Drama Actor for her performance as UK Prime Minister Margaret Thatcher. TV category winners included Jason Bateman for Ozark, Jason Sudeikis for Ted Lasso and Mark Ruffalo for I Know This Much Is True.